particular problem for the church is the language in the Psalms addressed to God against the enemies. God, here's my enemies, and here's some ideas about what you might do with them. And it's not pretty. Uh, what shall we do with that? Actually, as I have taught Psalms, that's the most frequently asked question by good believing Christian people because you're supposed to love your enemies. And of course you are in the Old Testament too. These are not doctrinal statements. They are not prescriptive. Uh, this is how you should talk about enemies. They are the real language of human beings in great distress that cry out about folks who are oppressing them. Uh, Again, the enemy is not your neighbor who walked on your lawn. Uh, the enemy is that person who, in, or, or that, that national enemy, who in some way or another is trying to cut you off from the, real, from the presence of God to label you as an enemy of God and, in, and thus destroy the, the life of faith. Uh, or, for Israel, to destroy the, uh, the very people of God. And People won't let that happen, and so they scream about it, they holler about it, they ask for divine intervention, uh, often, again, in very raw language. God can do with those prayers what God wants. That's the good news of there being prayers rather than prescriptions. Mm -hmm.